fire, fire, fire. The purpose of this video is gonna be, it's gonna be actually really quick. <laughs> me showing you dogs and you <laughs> giving me views. <laughs> uh, I got a, wait a minute though, wait a minute, I can't hold all of you, you don't see it. <laughs> oh my God, this is insane. So, uh, how many <laughs> Wait a minute. Literally just woke up, okay? Uh, that's why I look like this. <laughs> Today they're leaving and I thought this would be the appropriate time to make this video. Uh, because it does have an important message for me to transmit to you. I saw a post on Facebook about these dogs and that they're gonna be uh, put to sleep uh, if they move to the uh, quarantine, it's called. So I was like, oh my goodness. Something in my heart was like... <laughs> You know, that's what the heart does when, you know, when it feels things. So I told the people who were responsible for it, I was like, can I give them a foster home without help? And they were like, yeah, of course it would. Like, give us your details. From here to there, uh, <laughs> I have three dogs in my hat on top of my other two. So fine. The point of this video, and it's gonna be really quick. I'm not gonna, not gonna say too much, uh, except please, 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 please adopt a dog. If you don't have a dog, like show this to your mom. Yo, I'm about to say something directly to your mom if she doesn't agree for dogs, okay? Okay, hi mom, how are you? It's so nice to uh, finally speak to you. I've heard so many good things about you. <laughs> One of those good things was that you uh, apparently refused a dog in your house. <laughs> And honestly, all I can tell you about that is that you're wrong. <laughs> your, your child here, you know, is showing you this for the main reason that you are mistaken. Dogs are a blessing. And my mom was the most person who doesn't want dogs in the world. Uh, but I was like, mom, just come on, let's bring, bring him. And, and you'll see, like, he'll change your mind. Because uh, you, can't, you can't not like this creature. You can't, like, it's just... Oh, the hair and all that shit, you know. You get used to it. You're clean, you know. <laughs> this message will go directly to mom now. Uh, when you shower, bitch, okay, and your hair comes out like so. Can you see it? Can you see it? Because it's literally right here. So when your hair comes out in the shower, you clean it, right? You clean it, right? So why can't you clean after this? You know? Anyways, I'm not good at talking to parents, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, please adopt a dog, man. Like, guys, it's such an important thing to, thing to do. They will be grateful to you for the rest of their lives. And they're gonna, they're gonna love you with all their heart. They are the only creature who, you know, will love you more than they love themselves. Like, I think he's gonna poop in my house. All the hard work, everything like that, it's so, so worth it. All they want is literally just drink, food and love and then you have a best friend for life your dog is gonna be there for you no matter what um, today they're leaving to their new homes and honestly I'm like I'm really sad to say goodbye to them they're so precious and I'm gonna keep in touch with all the foster homes so I can know what's going on with them and how they're growing up and all that stuff but yeah I uh, I miss these guys. So many dogs are being put to sleep every year because they don't have a home and they need to clear a space in the fucking quarantine shit. So they just put them to sleep. It's like every dog has such an amazing personality and such an amazing soul in them. And it's like, I just can't imagine that. It's just horrifying. My dog, my big white one, uh, I actually fostered him. He went through abuse, I fostered him, and I ended up falling in love with him and I couldn't give him away. I was like, you know what, I'll adopt him because I think I'm the only one who can give him the house that he truly deserves and needs after everything he's been through. The dogs in the quarantines and the shelters will thank you for the rest of their lives if you just give them a home. Just open your house and give them like a space to sleep and a lot of love and uh, They'll be so grateful. When they came here, they were so shy. They didn't even, like, I would come to them and they'd be, like, hiding in each other and, like, cuddling each other. But now, like, they're so excited to see me and it's so cute. And, yeah. I'm just glad I opened them up. They were, 
in such a bad shape when they came to me. Then I gave them a little bit of a shower, some clean sheets, a place to sleep in, and within three days they were different dogs. They give a chance to everyone. Like just show them that show them that your heart is good and that they already picked you as a best friend. I'm honestly sad that they're going. <laughs> as hard as it was to take care of them in these two weeks. I'll miss them so much. Oh, I'll miss them. Anyways, the point of this video is please, please, please go adopt a dog. And uh, yeah, so this video is done. <laughs> I'm bad at this. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, great. Bye. <laughs> Ugh, you disgusting creature. Why was I holding you this whole time? That's fucking gross. You know what I'm saying? Like, get away from me. I don't know, I can't even say that as a joke, I can't even say that as a joke.